morning, Mr. Dunlap. Excellent. Well, either you are closing your eyes to a situation you do not wish to acknowledge, or you are unaware of the caliber of disaster indicated by the presence of a pool table in your community. Well, you got trouble, my friends. Right here I see trouble right here in River City. Why, sure, I'm a bigger plate suit and mighty proud to say I'm always mighty proud to say it. I consider that the hours I spend with a cue in my hand are golden. Helping cultivate horse sense and a cool head and a keen eye. Did you ever take and try to give an ironclad lead to yourself from a three-rail billiard shot? Well, just as I say, it takes judgment, brains, and maturity to score in a buck line game. I say that any boob can take and shove a ball in a pocket. And I call that sloth. The first big steps on the road to the depths of dead gritty. I say first, medicinal wine from a teaspoon, then beer from a bottle. And the next thing you know, your son is playing for money in a pinchback suit. And listening to some big out-of-town Jasper here to tell about horse race gambling. Not a wholesome trotting race, no, but a race where they sit down right on the horse. Like to see some stuck-up jockey boy sitting on Dan Patch. Make your blood boil, I should say. Now, friend, let me tell you what I mean. You got one, two, three, four, five, six pockets on the table. Pockets that mark the difference between a gentleman and a bum with a capital B and that rhymes with P and that stands for pool. 